Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. I was a bit concerned when I saw something recently. I started following someone named Tia B. Stokes right before the pandemic through Tia's cancer journey and watch her dance it out and survive and beat cancer and it was really cool to watch. I did unfollow her later on just for my own personal decisions of changing certain viewpoints in my life. I recently saw that there are some ethics issues with Tia and I don't know if that's a good way to put it but there are two substantial things that stand out to me. Both are things that I've covered on my channel. One of them being Amari which is a disgusting predatory mental health multi-level marketing company. Yeah, it's a pyramid scheme in my opinion. She has taken part in it. She is now an MLM boss babe to the fullest extent. It started very vague and I mean I could tell from her very first post that it was probably that because of her mention of happy juice. That's what they call their mental health drink I guess. And I've covered it plenty of times Happy Juice is what Your Sober Guide also does. This is their Happy Juice clinical study, which by the way, it was on, from what I know, like less than 100 people and there was like one. And it says the world's first award-winning gut brain access nutrition system. Now I'm going to put a link below to something I've already covered previously in a video that I've done over Amari, specifically Your Sober Guide, Bethany. You know what? You can watch her video if you want to know more because I don't want to get worked up. It has to do with serotonin and how serotonin from certain parts of your body can't go through the blood brain barrier. And this is a medical peer-reviewed study that is legitimate, unlike their ridiculously unprofessional clinical study. It says clinically proven to 60% decrease in irritability scores. So what they're doing is they're using words that you know what they mean, but that hopefully it won't look so bad to the FTC. Irritability scores. They used to just say anger. It decreases your anger by 60%. And then it says decreases in anxiousness by 55%. They would say like decreases anxiety by 55%. Reduction in overall distress, 49%. They've said before it reduces your stress by 49%. They're just trying to make it wordy so that the FTC might let them go. Increase in good bacteria, 70%. My question is, where are these numbers from? Where'd you get them? Because that clinical study is not good enough. That's not right. Listen to this. Increase in positive mood, 211. What? 211 percent. Decrease in negative mood. 105 percent. I mean, come on. Overall, Amari is probably my least favorite MLM of all time, especially because I am a mental health advocate. I'm someone who has struggled with mental health, who takes medication for my mental health and is open about my mental health and is trying to destigmatize medication in general about most things, but especially mental health, as well as speaking about it and being open about your mental health and doing something about it, especially if you're struggling. So Amari is the first one that Tia is wrapped up in, which we're going to go over. The second one, which we're going to briefly talk about that really bothered me is how she feels about Colleen Ballinger, because apparently she's friends with her. And I think she deleted this video, but I think I got it from the the Reddit. We'll go over the video briefly towards the end. I don't know how you could take Colleen's side, but apparently Tia did. She hasn't said anything about it since then. Um, and I, like I said, I think she deleted this. If it's on the internet, it's there forever. All right, let's get started. So she started vague, and this is one of the first things that I saw from Tia. It says, it's a miracle, read caption. Finally, our house is under contract. After four offers and two fall throughs, our house of love and miracles is under contract. Prayers have been answered. Thank you all for praying and sharing about our home. Excited for the next chapter. Comment, happy for more energy, and I'll DM you deets. This happy juice has helped me so much during the process of unknown. I want it to help you feel good too. God is good. Whoever gets this neighborhood next is lucky. I saw that and I said, Mm, I think I know what this is. There have been several people, one in particular who've sent me a lot of stuff on Tia and kind of got my attention towards Tia. And I just want to say thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. So I commented 
happy, right? I want to know what the heck she's shilling because she's not saying other than happy juice, which people won't get if they don't know Amari. So she said, happy Monday. Here's the link for more energy. Seriously, this stuff has helped me so much and can't wait for it to help you. And then I see it says Amari Global. Something in particular I see about Tia that is, it's bothersome in general because she's not following the ethics of affiliate links, but she doesn't say that she gets paid commission or that she's an affiliate with stuff. She might say like, partner really tiny on certain things but she gets compensation for a lot of what she posts and she doesn't say it which is against FTC guidelines. And they're starting to crack down on that stuff too. So I hope that they crack down on her. So that was the first thing. And then I knew it was Amari. And I was wondering how far she was going to take it. I was thinking, is she going to become like MLM boss babe hardcore? Or is this just one of those things like she likes the product, she's just going to like, you know, here's a link if you want to try it. And it slowly started progressing into not just her becoming an MLM boss babe, but her using pretty horrible medical claims. Here's one in particular. It says, have you always had zest love for life? She says, to be honest, no, but yes. I feel like joy has always been in me and I love to love, but I've had to work really hard for it and for who I am today and make it a choice every day. I've struggled with depression, prenatal depression, postpartum depression, so Subtle thoughts, mental illness is real, but everything you see me do, pray, dance, play with my kids, get dressed, speaking, working out, happy juice, etc., are all things I do to choose happy and to stay here and to keep fighting. We got this. She says that one of the things that she does, happy juice, helps her choose happy and to stay here. And when she says stay here, I think she's kind of paralleling it with suicide ideations pretty much with what she mentioned. Using happy juice in that way to me is just one of the biggest red flags, especially when they try to talk about serotonin and the blood-brain barrier and the gut serotonin can't penetrate that. But just go look at that link I put below so you can read more about that. They're all just so wrong in that theory because serotonin and the idea of serotonin and an uptick in serotonin helping out is a theory. And again, that link goes more into it. So here's another thing that I saw. When all things feel like they're going wrong, how do you keep yourself positive? She says, I force myself to look for the good in my life. Write down three things I'm grateful for. I get dressed, I brush my teeth, I talk to my friend, I put music on, we got this. I drink my happy juice, wink. This was starting to really concern me. I thought, okay, so she's in it. She's in it deep. And then I saw things like this, where people are talking about happy juice and she's tagged in it because they bought it from her. She says, this has been huge helping me on steroids already. Um, yikes. Happy juice, only a few days left for the free affiliate membership. And that's the only time I've ever heard her use. And I don't even know if it was her or the girl that's on there that tagged her. I have never heard her use affiliate ever. So that's interesting. Happy Juice plus free membership. And I think this membership is not just like to become a customer. I think a lot of time it is actually like to be an affiliate with Amari and sell the product. And I think that's something that she pushes without pushing it. In some of her videos, she alludes to that. So we'll go into it, but I wanna watch a few of her videos. Here is the first one. Moms, don't say I didn't tell you, okay? School is starting. All the extracurricular activities are starting. All the things, you guys, my kids are in. I got Taz and soccer, flag football, major legend maze, all playing football. We've got dance for Rose, dance for the boys. I mean, it's crazy. Your schedule's crazy, my schedule's crazy. You're gonna need the energy without the crash, without the yucky feeling, all the good things, gut health, mental health. The thing that I love about Happy Juice, you guys, is that it's like you take it, you drink it, and I kind of drink mine throughout the day, and it's kind of like I don't have to think about it, right? And it just automatically heals my gut, heals my brain, helps me to want to make better choices in what I eat. It just like changes everything. It's crazy. So a little bit longer on the free membership. Use I wanted to pause that here before we finish it out because she uses the word heals twice. Heals her gut and heals her brain. Those are very terrible medical claims to make, especially for people who struggle with gut or mental health. And I think that she should honestly be ashamed of using people's vulnerabilities like mental health and gut issues to sling this ridiculous multi-level marketing product that, by the way, she doesn't say she makes compensation from, but she does. The link, you guys, join me. You will not. 
in this it says happy juice targets serotonin and dopamine levels in the gut to connect the gut brain access which is a joke by the way the fact that serotonin and dopamine in the gut can penetrate the blood brain barrier it's just a whole thing. Also, the theory that serotonin that like I said earlier, the more serotonin, the happier you are is a theory and it is not proven to be true. It's actually something that they're backtracking on because of these several studies that have been done. This says it supports the growth and vitality of a range of friendly gut bacteria to increase the production of the feel good neurotransmitters. This means you literally feel happier the longer you drink it. You deserve it. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to feel up. You deserve to feel happy. You deserve to have the energy. You deserve it, especially going into the new school year with your kids and all the things, all the busyness of life. Live, 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 live. I'm gonna leave the link for you. Use it if you want to. If you've been thinking about it, now is the time. I love you. Let's kill it today. Her using the phrase, you deserve it, over and over and over. I don't think she understands how manipulative that is, especially when she's targeting mothers. You deserve it. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to feel happy. Well, yes, they absolutely do. But you using it in conjunction with your MLM product as a way of you gaining compensation is not okay. And in that video in particular, she sounded so much like an MLM boss babe hun. It was wild to watch here's another one so my doctors are amazing and that's grandma and grandpa when they got married my doctors are amazing and oh, i love them and when they told me when we were going over the regimen about my draft versus host disease at my last um doctor's appointment they were i mean you guys think i'm sad and you're sad about me doing chemo again upping steroids again um, they're even more sad. Like they just, they're, oh, I just love my team. I love my team so much. Um, but we know that this is yeah, the best. Can okay, we put it in the, put it in the, yeah. yep. Pour it. Mama's saying happy juice. We know that this is the best thing for me to help me, oh, don't do that. To help me get better. So, but we felt really good. My doctors felt really good about, you know, as much as they didn't want to, like it, it's hard to do it again, but they felt really good about it because of how well I have been doing with the steroids I have been on and that the things I've been doing for my body, right? And that is, you know, you guys all know, my happy juice has been a huge part in this journey this last year with helping me be able to fight the inflammation that comes from all the steroids um, my gut health to my brain health because steroids they mess with you like they mess with you bad um, your hormones are all over the place so honestly this like my happy juice has been my saving grace <laughs> through people I have this before we continue the fact that she's using her happy juice as her quote unquote saving grace while she's on steroids and going over how it helps fight inflammation and helps with your hormones in your gut brain. I mean, this is just bad ethics 101, especially for someone who's supposed to be so honest and shares parts of her journey. She's never been honest about gaining compensation from you when you purchase that, as well as it being a multi-level marketing company and that membership a lot of times that you're signing up for that's free is probably the affiliate. And I'm grateful um, that, you know, now that I'm, I, I never had this happy juice when I was on chemo and stuff before last, last year, right? Um, so um, I'm excited to be able to, experience it a little differently and i know that it's going to help me so much so i'm excited you guys you guys know i love my happy juice i there's a sell going on right now if you have been thinking about it or if you need some motivation mood you need that gut health brain health happy feels i'm gonna drop Mama. the link for you Mommy. and you will not regret it Mommy. No. I want to remind y'all that just because someone is sick, has been through a terrible experience or whatnot, that 
that we should not just ignore things like this, things that they are doing that could potentially be hurting people, things that are super unethical, especially when it comes to MLM scams. Sure, she's gone through a lot. I watched her journey. However, what she's doing here is wrong. And I just wanted to insert that because I know people are going to, there's going to be a few that talk about how she's fighting this or that. How dare you talk about her? If she's being very unethical and not being honest, I think that it is important to have that conversation. Continuing to the next video. I'm going to be honest. When I was first approached with Happy Juice, I was a hater. I was like, no, nope. I probably ignored a lot of messages people sent them to me um, because, you know, just because you hear these things all the time. And then when Camber made me my first one and I saw the difference that it made that day in my life for me mentally, my mood, my energy, the way I felt, I was sold because it was such a big difference. So. I get it. I get it. It's a big jump. It's a big jump of faith. It's, it's an investment in yourself. It is an investment in yourself, but I have to say for me, that is my why because obviously two red flags right there, probably three, three. I was a hater. You hear people in MLMs say I was a hater before I tried it and then I tried it and I loved it. You also hear people in MLMs talk about investing in yourself. This is an investment in yourself. It's important to invest in yourself. And the third thing that she said that was a huge red flag just in those moments, the biggest ones was her why. These are all very popular MLM tactics. We're fighting to be here, right? and live our best life. So it's really, really helped me a lot and that's why I continue to share it. And I continue to hopefully help one person out there. So I love you, have a glory. I'm gonna leave it a link if you wanna. I'm gonna leave it a link if you wanna try it. Um, or let me know if you want, actually I'm gonna leave a box here. If you want a one month, like just to try it for one month or if you want the membership. Um, because I know you're gonna love it and you're gonna wanna help more people and you wanna wanna share it mm -hmm. because it is the hype. Yeah, yeah. I love you guys. Have a glorious day. Woohoo! All I can say about this situation is there were too many little things bobbing around at the bottom of that cup. That was not mixing very well. The last video I want to show you, she is mixing her drink and there's music playing, but I'll read what she says. Hey Tia, do you have a direct link to the happy juice you could send me? She says, yes, I do. Mix, energy, edge, and mentabiotics for a happier mood and energy. Mental health goodness, love being off my Lexapro. Love being off my what? Hi, my name on social media is walkin underscore on underscore Lexapro. And if you're off your Lexapro, because of these products, there's something wrong. So what I hear is I'm getting off medication that was studied by the FDA, given to me by a doctor who knows what they're doing for products that have not been studied or looked into by the FDA and are not properly regulated. Got it. That was probably the most annoying thing that I've seen her post. Something that made me go, yep, it's time to do the video. It's very frustrating for me as a mental health advocate to sit here. Sometimes it seems like I'm so pro-medicine because I have to go up against people who try to make medicine look negative, right? I have to say medicine is not negative. If it works, you should take it. But honestly, I'm okay with anyone doing anything. Whatever works for you, good. However, a lot of times people will drop a sentence like loving off my Lexapro because they see medication like Lexapro as a negative thing. And then trying to gain compensation, make money by others doing what you're doing and you mentioning love being off my Lexapro as a way for them to go, oh, maybe I should also be off my Lexapro and use these products so that you could make money is horrific. Let me be clear. I don't think Tia is a bad person. I don't think she is an all out hun boss babe with the mindset, but I do think she's getting there. And I know for a fact that what she's doing is completely unethical. While she might not have meant it this way, and it might not be super blatant, it is a way of guilting people who are on medication. Also, Amari's the worst MLM ever. I wanna go back to the video where she's in the pink with the pink hat, the smiley face, cute outfit. I love pink. She says in one part, you know, I wanna help more people. You, I know you're gonna wanna share it. And when she says that, it's a red flag for me. So I think she's possibly sharing the affiliate link and not just the customer link. Could be wrong, but it sounds like that she is attempting to build some kind of team, which is wrong. I mean, it is the best 
way to make money in MLM and probably one of the only ways to make profit normally, but it is wrong. And that's part of the reason that I think that she's building a team and really getting into the MLM grift. But I wanted to cover this picture in particular. It says, I take happy juice every day to invest in myself, especially now, so I can be my best, happiest self for my family. It's helped my anxiety and mental health so much. Calm, peaceful, interested, focused, energy, no crash, 90 day money back guarantee. And then she put the link for happy juice. This is just reeking of MLM hun. And it's honestly sad. So that was a little bit about the MLM aspect, which she's just diving deeper and deeper into. I really hope she gets out, but I don't know. Let's get into the Colleen Ballinger clip. She is talking about Colleen Ballinger in this. Was I just commend her for, she's been on social media for 16 years with Miranda Sings, her own personal life. I mean, everything that she does, her podcast, Instagram, TikTok, everything, YouTube. And I just commend her because she, I mean, she was telling me, she's like, I get so much hate. So many people say so many things. And I just, it, she just gave the best advice. And she just said, don't even look at it. Don't even acknowledge it. Don't even give it any kind of attention. And that's the best revenge. And I thought that was just so wise and so, so good to hear. Like, So this is, from what I know, after the Colleen Ballinger situation, it's a bummer. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that where I got it from Reddit and the people who shared it are wrong. <laughs> I hope that I'm wrong and that, that she's not supporting Colleen in this situation. I was not excited to make this video because I don't want it to be true. Like, I don't want someone that I looked up to for a little while to be going into an MLM so strongly and using some of their really difficult situations they've been through medically to shill their MLM product. But it happens. So I hope she finds her way out. What are your thoughts on this situation? Don't forget, you can subscribe to my channel. You can like the video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below on your thoughts. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't care about what has been I only care about yours